Once you have read the case file, head for this doorway and turn right. You will see this victim electrocuted. So toggle the fuse box to turn off the electric. You can take the table leg from the victim if you want it. On the bed over here you can find a another case file. There's a table lamp which you can use as a weapon on the table by here. And by here you can find the valve. This is the guy they told us about. What? Shut up! You hear someone? So now you will have to kill those two victims, but first head through here and search the lockers. On the floor there is a case file to read. So once you have read that, head back to where you found the valve and unbolt the door. If you're fast enough, um, rearm this tripwire before the victims pass it. So when they run into it, they will be killed by it. Before you leave this area, head back through here and search the lockers over here. You can also use the fuse box to electrocute the victims if you can lure them back over there. But I think this tripwire is the easiest to use. So b before you leave this area, open this door. There's a shotgun door, so make sure you're aware of that. Take the gear from the desk. Right, you don't have to do this puzzle if you don't want to, but if you do, there's a baseball bat. Some people find those gear puzzles really annoying, so just for that, uh, you should know that you don't have to do them if you don't want to. So now you just gotta backtrack to the bathroom and then head left there and head for this gate. Turn left over here and pick lock this door. Search the room for any supplies. And then head through this door next to the locker. Search this room. One of the lockers contains a fuse. There's a fuse box for there which you can use as a way of killing someone later. And there's a tripwire past the puddle. By here uh, a shotgun collar victim randomly respawns. So you can use the tripwire or this fuse box to kill him. Or of course you could just let their collar detonate. So turn left at this hallway and pick lock this door. Inside the room you can find the health hypo. Two actually. Sometimes the victim was spawned by here as well, or in this room to your right. It's random every time. So when you pass this room, search it for any supplies. Drop down this hole at the end of the hallway, but make sure you land on the scaffolding, otherwise you'll lose a lot of health. Just keep walking down the hallway, and at the end of the hallway you will find a crutch and a table to search. Pick lock this door. Inside the room is a health hypo. So once you've got the health hypo, leave the room and head into this room. The door will lock and you will have 60 seconds to complete the circuit box puzzle before the bombs detonate. So head into this room, there's a shotgun door. In one of these lockers there is a coupler which you can use to activate the circuit box. So head back over to the circuit box and, and complete the minigame. 
once you've completed that, the door will open and you will find yourself back by the acid bow. So just follow the path back to the steam. Pass the shotgun door again. So use the valve on the pipe and you can shut off the steam. You can now redirect the steam, but take care. Actions that allow you to pass may also allow others to escape their cages. Your next objective will be the shut off the steam by here. At the top of the ladder you can read that case file and once you have read it, squeeze through this gap in the wall. You can see the remains of one of the victims by here. At the other end of this gap you can search this locker. To your right there will be a ladder. Sometimes a victim responds down here with a scalpel so be careful. Read that case file on the shelf, there's a pipe next to it. So if you rotate this valve, you will shut off the steam and allow you to pass. Before you leave the room, head into here and you can find a health hypo in this cabinet. So now go down this hallway. In my case, the victim was spawned down here in this room. Don't make this difficult! Once you kill him, once you have killed him, take a scalpel if you want to. Which is a pretty good weapon because it kills most of your enemies with one hit. So once you've reached this room, head in over here and search all of the lockers. There is a case file on one of the lockers. So if you walk down this pathway you will find your path blocked by some steam. So head back to the valve and rotate it and you will redirect the steam. So follow this path and climb down the ladder. At the bottom of the ladder you will find a valve so rotate this. This will shut off the steam back up top. Once you have shut off the steam climb back up the ladder. So head back over to the valve and rotate it again. So follow this path. Your next objective will be to find a way to shut off the steam by here. So climb down this ladder. At the bottom of this ladder you will find a pipe and another valve. So rotate the valve to shut off the steam. Head back over to the ladder and climb back up. Go through this doorway, you will find another gear puzzle, which you can do if you want to. It gives you a nail bat, which is a pretty good weapon. Press this button and you will open the gate. So just follow the path. On your right by here you will find a, another gap which you can squeeze through. Don't rush it, These, if you hit the steam then the steam will kill you instantly so time it right so the steam doesn't hit you. <laughs> 